Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here, and welcome back to more of Kirby Canvas Curse. Last time, we started on our doodly doo adventure. And now we're gonna diddly d some... No, no more Waddle D, Waddle D's not here. But yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna continue our adventure with the do. It's like the dude, except people are scared by the fact that it's just a giant floating, it's effectively a giant floating eye. You have been seen for your past crimes. How do you, how do you wish to answer for them? Uh, seven. There's not an answer for your past crimes. It is when I held a gun. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, that got dark. So I will say, like, the I will say, like, the only downside, I haven't talked about this yet because I got sentimental about finishing the game last episode. I will say the only downside to playing as the, the Waddle Doo Ball is because of of the fact that it is constantly beam hours you cannot spam click the the uh the roll so to say you cannot spam roll which is going to come work against me in areas like this underwater where my normal method of handling water travel is to spam click the roll the uh the roll button constantly Just to go underneath things. Just to go underneath the challenge. Oh, it was that way. But yeah, my, my normal way to supersede the uh, challenge was to just tap roll constantly. Uh, now it's not that much. Anyway, I'm just going to sit right here and just beam. And I'll be safe. Proceeds to beam. I don't have to play your game. Okay, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Also, this this area is just this area is just trivial. I can literally just I can literally just go through the whole world. I literally just carve a hole in the world and go. Now, if I wasn't uh if I didn't have to like, you know, if I didn't do the game how I did it, just to like break things up so it wasn't just all main story playthroughs followed by followed by all Rainbow Run. I three hundred I three hundred percent would have probably gone through like this level in the uh, Rainbow in the time trial in the time trial with uh, Waddle Doo because I literally could just cover path down through the center of the level. It's like oh no, all these bricks. But what if they weren't there? That's literally what the, what Waddle Doo does this area. Like there are a lot of air, there's a lot of areas in this game where normally it's just like a bunch of clicking, a bunch of tapping, a bunch of this, a bunch of that that you would ha be forced to do in order to get you know in order to get any semblance of what am I trying to think of like speed or efficiency. Waddle Doo just kind of like coasts through it because they expect you to poke a lot. Where Waddle Doo can just be like I'm attach it. We might see that that uh, exemplified in the in uh, this in this level here, because there's going to be a handful of switches we'll have to press, but we'll have to press that. We'll have to press them. We can just press them through the wall by being Waddle Do. I would show an example right now, but I don't think I need to. He says and then immediately misses the switch. Uh oh, try again. Grab me. Thank you for almost not grabbing me, by the way. The only thing that Waddle Doo cannot do, that King DD or or Kirby can do, is hit those stakes. That's the only thing he cannot do. That, well, that's basically anything puzzle oriented, more or less. So, Zounds, we have now found the one thing the do cannot do. Do 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 be do be do. I hope you've been taking notes. It will be on the test tomorrow. No, Jeremy, you cannot. You cannot use your notes. You have to study them at home, so that way you can actually be prepared for the test tomorrow. What's the point of taking notes to study 
if you won't take them home to actually study them you just and you just write them down so I you know actually fair point that's what I did too carry on Jeremy anyway get the dew underwater and I'll just a leisurely stro leisurely stroll Sorry, I've been doing a lot of recording like the last few days and my tongue is getting twisted and my brain is pudding. So this is like the last thing on my plate that I want to do recordings of before I kind of just mellow out for like a little bit. So I am, I am the king of Slo Slovanza. Yep, that should emphasize how much mush my brain is right now. The fact that the most non sequitur thing that I can think of is Swalanza. My apologies to the people of Swalanza. I'll send a postcard to you. I'll send a postcard to you from America, along with the cheese from my nation. Ugh. To which I hear people in the comments already saying, why, why cheese? Why, why cheese of your nation? What is your, you're, you're, you're in the United States. What of your nation? My state. Trust me. The joke's funny. The joke's funny if you play in, into your state, your statehood stereotypes. You know, as I say, you know, before I even put on the accent to emphasize my point. <clears throat> you know, up there in the north. We got we got people with the guns. They hunt the deer. They miss the deer. They they are terrible shot, man. That's why I just say we go grab a beer. Hit up the pub. Go to the pub. Grab a beer. Wait for it all. Wait for it all to sad down. Hey, you know what? We don't dine the Packer games on. Gotta watch that game. Would be a good one. There, I have now I have now exposed myself. How scandalous. It's always so funny. Like, it's not actually. Can I hit that? Oh, I know I can hit that. Hold on. Now. Oh, really? Nah, I refuse. I know I can hit that switch. Let me get down to actual ground level. Uh, wait, hold on. Sorry, my stubbornness is winning out right now. Okay, fine. You win. That was the switch I was... That This specifically was the switch I was thinking about when I was like, Oh yeah, you can hit like all switches beyond walls because your wall do. That was the switch specifically I thought of, but I guess I'm wrong. Oh no, someone on the internet was wrong about something. Quick. Call the FBI. Call the FBI. Call the CAA. Call my mother. I will say, like, it, I just glanced over it, by the way. I glanced over it, forgot, I forgot I even turned it on. I'm really glad that we have the music on like we do. Because we can actually have, like, something a little different in the background. Also, you know, classic Kirby tunes. Like, I'm pretty sure all the music we've, we're hearing right now is pulled straight out of Nightmare to Dream, Nightmare in Dreamland. I like how I keep calling it, trying to call, I keep trying to call the game Nightmare to Dreamland. I always have, and I don't know why. My brain just refuses to acknowledge it has a different name. Anyway, door, secret door, secret door. I could have just held Waddle Doo in place. As we found out with, as we found out with King Dedede first, and then, you know, and then not really explored it much further after that. With some abilities, you can just hold yourself in place. And you you can just tap yourself to do your ability. And you'll just stay in place. Oops. I made an oopsie poopsie. Don't I always do this on Silver Submarine? I always like accidentally go to Silver Submarine when it's time to move on to level 4. I feel like I keep doing that. Hey, butter building. Did you did you think it would be butter building here? Anyway, we can stop drawing it underwater for just a wee bit. No more underwater drawing for a little while. I can rest. I can rest a little and be happy.
I can rest a little bit and not have to fight the physics. Like as much as much as you know, the underwater controls are not as bad as I make them out to be. I'm just glad I don't have to fight them anymore for the for a little bit. Oops. I'm just glad I don't have to fight them for a little while if I don't feel like it. Granted, we're gonna have to do it again when we get to fro to the frozen areas. But that's a problem for me to handle in due time. Not right now, but in due time. Anyway, I'm gonna take the fast pass out of here if you don't mind. No, that's not the fast pass out of here. This is the fast pass out of here. And I'm gonna attempt to go over the cannon. Hmm. I see I've played myself for the fool this day. In trying to go faster, I actually ended up going slower. Oh well. There we go. You know, I should use the map. I should use the map a lot more. Because that would have told me exactly where the door is, so I could have guided myself there instead of trying to, like, play with cannons. Anyway. So I'm just going to sit here and hold this for a minute. Because, uh, you know, if I create a force field of do not touch, you know, I cannot be touched. Like, you can't see it right now. But basically, my style, I've, I've been holding this whole time, but my stylus is currently over the waddle, do, waddle D on the right. Also, this is a nice tactic I can use to basically not kill myself. Anyway, you can just go in that corner there. Okay, cool. Cool, thanks, bye. This is working out way better than I thought it was. would. I'm a little upset that this is working out as well as it does. Hold. And off he goes. Off he was going anyway. So something I'm thinking about because, you know, DS Kirby games, you know, I've covered Ultra Deluxe. Super, Superstar Ultra, sorry. Ultra Deluxe is something else, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've covered Superstar Ultra for a DS Kirby game. There's only like, there's only two other DS Kirby games I can think of. And one of them is my, one of my favorite Kirby games. And the other is a Kirby game that I stopped playing about an hour in because I did not have fun with it. We'll find that out in due time. But don't be shocked if it becomes a... If it becomes a cold day in a hot place when I uh, play the game I don't like in question. All I'm going to say, there's just a lot of little dudes... Lots and lots of little dudes. Don't like that one. If I wanted to play Pikmin, I'd play Pikmin. Anyway. Ah, there it is. There's that GBA Soundfot trumpet that we've grown to love for, for Ruby Sapphire. And actually, you know, I think it's kind of gone on record. It's on record here. I, I love how I'm jumping topics here. I'm just talking about whatever because I have nothing else to emphasize with this game. Um, it's kind of on record that it's on record here somewhere in some capacity, at least on the internet some capacity, but I'll make it a verbal confirmation. A lot of people love Ruby, Sapphire, and Gen 3 games. I cannot, my guys. I cannot. Every time I try to play the Gen 3 games um, in the past few years, every single time I boot up those games and okay, and go, okay, I'm going to play through Gen 3 and I'm going to have fun. I'm going to make it a little bit of a challenge so I don't get so I don't walk all over the whole game. I'm going to make it a challenge for myself. I get to Watson's Gym. I turn the game off and I never turn it back on. The playthrough of, I believe it's Ruby? Yeah. The playthrough of Ruby that, that is on my channel from 12 years ago, I want to say. That, that, you know, back when I, every year, I did a Pokemon Monotype challenge. Instead of, you know, spacing it out now. Ruby is the only time I have ever beaten Gen 3, a Gen 3 Pokemon game. Every other time Gen 3 comes up, 
I hit I hit it with the hard pass, fam. Just every time we get to Watson's gym, it's just my brain just says where it just says fun doko D fun doko, and I just done. I think other than I think other than uh, what I mentioned. Like, other than what I have mentioned specifically in this moment for playthroughs... Let's see. I have a copy of Omega Ruby. Saved right after Watson's Gym. Never touched. I have a cop. Well, actually no, I have a copy of Emerald. I have a copy of Emerald. Saved after, Ta or after Tate and Liza's Gym. The Double Battle Gym. Hasn't been touched since then. That's the one where I was like, oh! I think I've just given bit Gen 3 a bad rap. Let me go ahead and give it another try. Maybe it actually is good. And forcing myself through it, that's as far as I got. But just every other time, it's just like, oh, let me play Let me play it because there's this little fun little challenge in it. Or this is a fun little thing that's being presented for a, for a game challenge. I get, to, I get to Watson, I get into, finish, or right before Watson's gym. I, I dunk it. I dunk it, I throw it away. I'm done with it. If you like Gen 3 Pokemon, that's cool. I'm not gonna stay here and throw shade at you if you like Gen 3 Pokemon. I'll get one more in there, why not? If you like Gen 3 Pokemon, fantastic, enjoy it. Just not me. That's not me. I am not that, I am not that guy. Man, I feel like, I feel like I'm like, very much like open the floor to a debate at this point. With that, with that whole string of thought. To which I will okay. I'm gonna call my shot now. Um, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna date myself. I'm gonna date myself a little bit in the video. In the recording of the video. And I'm pretty sure the upload date is gonna be like someday in February. But it is... It is currently... It is currently, uh, as of right now... It is, it is January still, when I'm recording this. And, I see all over, I've seen all over social media sites, people are just like, Oh man, we want, oh hey. Haha. <laughs> Imagine having to do a, ch a, a thing. That's like the only time we kind of get a pass on that though. Anyway, we still have to go down around. Anyway, uh, but yeah. Just like, oh man, we've got to get those Gen 5 remakes. Maybe they'll be better than Gen 4 remakes, you say, high on copium. To which I, to which I respond, no, you don't want that. Like, here's the thing, I don't hate Gen 5. I think Gen 5 is a great game. They're great games, they, they have fantastic stories and all that jazz. Like, Gen 5 has fantastic stories through and through. You do not want... You do not want them to remake Gen 5, because if Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl is any case of a Pokemon remake for why they should not remake a certain Pokemon game, I think the case is right there. That did nothing. That did nothing of importance. I did that as a flex. F L E K K flex. But yeah, like if Gen 5 gets remade, everybody's gonna be sad. Everybody who grew up with Gen 5, everybody who adores Gen 5 story, they're gonna be incredibly sad because they're gonna butcher the heck out of that. They're gonna take away things and ruin things that you that you think were like the best things in the game. They're gonna take away hard mode. Yeah, those of you who don't know, Gen 5 has hard mode, like, built into the game, not even, like, some additional little challenge you have to enable or anything. It's just built into the game. And they would get, they would get rid of that. They would put on that experience share, that uh, experience share that's going on right now that you all seem to hate so much. Oh, you would just hate a Gen 5 remake. Keep in mind, this is somebody who wanted to keep 
I am also, I'm not, I'm not saying I hate Gen 5. Like, I actually love Gen 5. I never, I never went through the post game of Gen 5. Why? Because the main game of Gen 5 had, was so tough, was so tough for me, and had such a grand finale to it all, that I went, you know what? That's a good note to end the game on. That was a perfect ending. Ow. That was a perfect note to end the game on. I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to ruin this by playing the post game and re and re going through the world. We're done here. And I closed the D I closed the DS. I took out my copy of Pokemon Black, and I and I haven't turned it on since then. Not even to like. I don't even. No, I turned it on once. I turned it on once since that day, since since that time in my life. You know what I turned it on to do? Transfer my Zekrom to Pokemon Home, which is currently gone because Pokemon, because the old Pokemon Home shut down. <laughs> Zekrom or Reshiram? I forget which one it is. I'll be honest, I forgot which one it is. It's currently it's currently out in the in the digital ether. Ooh, that felt weird. I did the hand motion to like signify out into the world and gone and like I twisted a nerve. Anyway, well we, we cleared level four today. Neat. Anyway, well everyone, I do want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Kirby Canvas Curse. And come back next time when I'll try not to talk more about Pokemon and to maybe talk more about the game. I'll see you folks then. Take care. <laughs>